That was a quick transition. Uh, hold on. No, that, that's that's how fast it transitions. Wow. That's a, okay, it's a really fast transition, and I do apologize. But anyhow, good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is Let's Make a Game and Play. We should have... What, what is, what is this? This is not... No, that's the intro sound. We just heard the intro sound. We don't want that. Um, let's go to remove all add um, file. And we want ambient, basa, easy lemon. There it is. Yeah, easy lemon. That's it, right? Yeah, play. There we go. Much better. Much better. So, welcome everyone to Let's Make a Game, the show where I go and make a fool out of myself by trying to program stuff that I probably shouldn't be programming. Anyhow, let's go ahead and jump into uh, studio and I'll be started. Um, real quick, there's been a lot of changes to YouTube, a lot of changes to the way things are analyzed, the analytics and stuff like that. and. I'm done trying to chase it. Um, I'm going to stay true to myself. Like, yes, I've tried the clickbaity stuff in the past, and yeah, that kind of works, but that's the YouTuber chasing the algorithm. And the algorithm's trying to chase the, the audience, and the audience is chasing the videos. So, I mean, the content that we're creating isn't... Like, there, there's got to be something stable, and it's got to stop. And that's the only way to stop it. And... I hope all the other YouTubers listen to what I'm saying, okay? This is what I want to make. This content is what I want to create. I want to move towards this direction. I don't want to be, oh, Code Primate, the Lumber Tycoon 2 Master. No, I want to be Code Primate, the developer, the game maker, the person who you would turn to and be like, dude, that was an amazing experience that you created for me as a kid. That's what I want. And that's what I hope to get to. Um, now, yes, granted, this very much looks like Lumber Tycoon 2. And it has a basis coming from Lumber Tycoon 2. But I've also talked to Defaultio and I told him, like, I don't want your game. And he knows that. And I think, like, because I'm doing this and I've not been doing a bunch of Lumber, he's done some updates now I, I don't want to take credit for that and by all means default if you're watching that's not my intention but I am very excited that there was an update to Lumber Tycoon 2 so if you have not seen it yet go in there check it out and just it's amazing um last night or the night before I actually moved a whole bunch of stuff test places equals what is that test what was, what is this test places equals Test gen model. Oh gosh. Okay, I broke I broke a bunch of stuff last night, didn't I? Hmm. I don't need the toolbox running. Why do I need the toolbox? So where's the test gen script? Test gen script should be under not workspace scripting model. Da, 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 scripts. Oh, wait, why don't you just test gen? There we go. Test gen script. There we go. Uh, workspace dot test gen model. That's not what we want. We want workspace dot land. Uh, sorry, land capital L A N D dot test area dot test gen model. Okay, basically what I'm doing is um, I'm making a test area all right and any items that i'm going to be testing in the world and stuff like that i'm going to be placing them inside that folder and then that folder is just if it goes into a server type mode like i'm going to have a script that detects am i in studio or am i in uh, uh the real world uh, on a server and if i'm in the server it's going to delete that folder so i mean it just it just won't exist so that should fix the test area gen model now what else did I break? Uh, game dot workspace dot gen trees. Game dot workspace dot gen trees. Game dot workspace land test area gen trees. Okay. And workspace dot 
land dot test area dot gin trees. There we go, gin trees. Play. So I'll show you what I kind of was working on uh, today during lunchtime, and uh, uh, it's this. Yay! So it is now. It is a model. It is it, not a model. It's a. It's a. It's a mesh. It's a. It's a thing. It's not a tool anymore. I can run over it all day long and it will not pick it up, but if I move my mouse over it, pick up the alpha axe or click to carry the alpha axe. Now, if I stop... Oh, wait, actually, I don't have to stop. I can just play here. Because, I mean, this is in-world, so I can I can affect this. I think. Alright, so, uh, if I go to workspace and I look for the alpha... pre-alpha axe of testing. No. Uh, pre alpha X. I can. I should be able to go plus uh, string value, and I'm just going to call that string value. Where is it? We're going to call this owner, and owner is going to be dig dug place. So if that's there, I should. Oh snap! Dig dug place, and oh, uh oh, I'm not supposed to be able to grab it. No. Okay, I'm not supposed to be able to pick it up either. There we go. Okay. Yay. Okay, so as long as there's an owner on it, you shouldn't be able to touch it. Uh, and that string, you can manipulate that from from the inside, but when I do the actual pickup script on the server, you're not going to be able to grab it because the owner script's going to still be in there. Uh, the server side is where this actually happens. So I'll show that to you real quick. Uh, so inside this, this axe right here is not the same axe as this down here. Server storage axes pre-alpha axe, pre-alpha axe tool. Now this right here is the same item uh, and it's just a mesh. This right here is thumbnail, local script, handle. So this is the one that actually cuts. And as long as there's no owner, you should be able to walk up to this thing and go E, and there you go. That's the actual axe right there. So this one's a mesh, that one's a tool. Mesh, tool, mesh, tool, mesh, tool. Got it? All right, cool. So um, the thing that prompted me to do that is the fact that you can walk up to axes and grab them and pick them up and then you can like turn them and stack them all kinds of different ways and it works. Oh, and something else that we have to fix, um, this. And I, I just got shown this by Kylan, 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 Kylan. If you jump in world with something under you, that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> and it, 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 yeah, so I gotta fix that. <laughs> wow. Okay. That should be under the the context grab. But uh, I'm not going to mess with that right now. I am going to mess with this. So I've already got, um, what do I have in here? Uh, I've got the context script. This is server side script. So you can't manipulate this in, in world because it's a server script. Is that correct? Does that make sense? Hmm, that does make sense. I think so the context uh, remote event is the script up parent dot context e remote event right there uh, owner is the script dot if child found owner and that is not manipulatable by the server because it won't replicate it'll be on on uh, client side only so even if you were to add an owner script you couldn't pick it up uh, if there's an owner already there so that's what we have to check we have to check uh, if not owner, then that. So if there's if there is no owner, then we go ahead and carry on and pick up the axe. Um, and we should probably destroy this item. So um, let's say scripts dot parent uh, destroy destroy. That that sounds good. So there we go. So now. When I go and actually press E to pick it up, nice, very nice. Now there's there's still no axe script in it, but that's what we were wanting. So I'm gonna take a copy of that. 
And if you guys see a problem with one of the scripts, or if you think, hey, Code, you might want to do this with it, please tell me. Let me know, because I would love to hear from it, uh, hear from you about what I can do differently. Um, isn't there a hitbox? I don't want to make it massless. Shape is a block. Custom physics property. Because, like, here's here's something else I noticed. If you go over and you grab one of the blank areas, like, I'm not supposed to be able to grab that. I, I should only be able to grab the um, the actual mesh. So there's a there's got to be a context or a, a, a hitbox of some kind that I'm missing. And I don't I don't know how to fix that one by the way. Um, let's go into the actual tool. Local script. All right. So here's my axe script. What do I want this thing to do? Whenever I activate the tool. So let's see. Um, local script. I'm going to actually change its name to uh, Axe Cut. No, let's call it Axe Script because it's going to do more than just that. Script, Axe Script. Um, what do we want to do first? <clears throat> well, what can we do with the tool? So. Um, this equals script.parent. This I should now be able to manipulate dot on manual manual activation only. No. Uh, can be dropped is already set to false. Enabled is good. Grip forward pose manual activation name requires handle activated. Activated. Um, connect, activate, and we will create a function, local function, activate, uh, arg1, arg2, arg3, let's see if I get any args, print, arg1, comma, arg2, comma, arg3. Now I probably should go and look this up because I'm not sure, sorry I zoomed way out there. Not sure if that's going to actually do anything. So, uh, pick it up. No, nope. no activation. Wait, oh. Unexpected during symbol during return. Return part. His body torso part. Oh, these are the floaties. I'm not working on those at the moment. Okay, that's not activating at all. Uh, this dot activated. This dot, what else can we do? What other, I guess activated is an event, right? Changed child deactivated, deactivated, uh, connect, activate. See if that does anything, probably not. Activate, deactivate, right? Uh, let's see. <clears throat> this dot. What else can we do? Um, let's see. Equipped, unequipped. Equipped, unequipped. Okay. Equipped. Connect. Activate. Okay. So we come over here. Instance nil nil. Okay. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. So let's go over and say uh, Roblox Lua tool tool. Go over to the tool development. There we go. Can be dropped, enabled. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is all the stuff that we saw before. Instance. All right. Anything that has to do with instance, it's not what I'm interested in. So it has properties, functions, and events. Fired when the player clicks while a tool is equipped. Okay, activated, right? 
tool instance equals new tool tool dot parent on activation tool and then they do tool dot activated connect on activation so is activate on activate and let's just uh, let's change that throughout the entire thing oops just like that and can we run that now okay pick it up it doesn't do anything hmm something wrong here resetting 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 Okay, silly goose, what are you doing here? Uh, I got my tool, I got a handle, and inside the handle is the mesh. Okay. So, on activate equals three different arguments. Connected, equipped, and unequipped, right? That was the other one. Dot unequipped. Uh, on equip on equip on deactivate so <clears throat> I can now do this uh, copy paste 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 sorry uh, and let's go on unequip paste on equip paste uh, on deactivate so there's the four triggers here are the four scripts let's see if that makes a difference at all pick it up nope cannot click darn it okay below is a cool is a code ran in test mode player one present uh, would create a tool in the player's backpack it will print tool activated when the player clicks Ooh. Okay, let's just do this then. Copy. Um, do we need a, a local script? We need a local script of some kind. Tool, insert parts. Actually, this is easier. Just hit the plus, type out script, and uh, test tool paste. Oh, expand. Don't need expand. Expand is part of the website, not part of our script. So, oh, look at there. Hmm. Um, tool. Player one is not a member of. You silly. Code primate. And it's lowercase, by the way. So. Okay. Um, code primate is not a member of. Okay. Okay, fine. Fine. Uh, <coughs> colon. Wait for child and then in parentheses code primate dot backpack there we go that should work right workspace code primate okay unexpected um, it waited for child but I was not there for some reason workspace no nope. players code primate backpack and there's nothing there stop Hmm. Script. Does it have to be local script? Hold on. Let's cut this. And is this is this the script? Yeah, that's the one. Uh, right click, delete. Does it say to use a local script? Hmm. Doesn't say if that was a local script or not. Event of pool. So let's go ahead and hit plus type out the word local local script and paste it's still floaty it didn't give me a tool so let's do this um, let's go into the local script and let's say print Starting script, and then we're going to say uh, print making tool, and then print giving tool to code, 
and then that we don't need. Uh, actually, print create creating creating function like that, and then print because this is inside the function function fired or tool activate. I guess I don't need that. Tool activated is good, and then print. Uh, connecting function to event or to trigger. There we go. Play. What do we get? Nothing. There was zero zilch anything <laughs> that returned. Why? Oh gosh. Why? Why did that not return anything? Because it's a it's a local script. Uh, does it have to be okay? Cut. Oh, let's hit stop real quick. Uh, cut. Oh wait 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 wait. No. Let's. Uh, okay. Cut that. And delete. Let's go down to our scripting service. Where's the floaties? The floaties are on the human, right? So starter player, starter scripts, water floaties, and we are going to disable that. Water floaties are broken. I know that. I'll come back to them. Uh, and now let's go into server script service. Uh, insert script tool test. Control A, B. Mm, let's do this. Find first child. Go primate. Then get his backpack. Get his backpack, guys! Uh, ten, attempted to index a nil value. Okay, fine. Let's do... Wait for ten... No, five seconds. Maybe we're just loading the game too fast. Giving tool to code... Oh, look at that. Still doesn't work right. Creating function, connecting function to trigger. Activate, deactivate, nothing. Okay. Well, at least we're getting closer. Okay, so the reason that it wasn't giving me the item is because I wasn't loaded into the world yet. Does that make a whole lot of sense? Hmm. Well, I'll tell you what I can do. Let's take this and cut. Actually, no, we don't need to cut. Uh, I will just deactivate this for now. So disable that. And let's go back over to the Axe script itself. So. This equals script dot parent. So this script it resides inside the alpha axe. Is that right? The pre-alpha axe. So the script is local. Do we need it to be server side? We shouldn't need it to be server side. Is it active whenever? No, it's fine. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm so used to just walking over the top of it and it works. Uh, by the way, how do I get the, here, I need, I need to see that. How to make image for backpack item in Roblox. Ooh, lots of videos on it. Lloyd, thank you for making a video on it. Intro to player tools, weapons, wands, and etc. What, 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 what? Insert a part. Confirm the part is non anchored. It's not. That's the handle. Yep, I got a part called handle. And that's the grip manipulation. That's fine. 
Uh, tells the player in their backpack on the screen uh, by the action bar. There. How did you get the, that? Texture ID. The tool icon set the image ID of the property the same way the decals image button. Okay, that's fine, but how do I... I'm not going to make a decal for every single thing that I create, am I? Can be dropped property to false. Can be dropped to false. Press the backspace or the delete key uh, will return the tool to the uh, player's backpack. Yes. Adding the tool to the game. Got it. Got it. Earning purchasing tools. Equipped. Occurs when the player selects the tool from their backpack. Unequipped. Uh, happens when the player drops the tool or switches tool. Drops the tool. Unequip. Oh, wait a second. One. Not droppable is can be dropped. Does that work? Okay, so now that it can be dropped, hit E. Ooh, it did something. It did a thing. What what did it drop though? Oh, it's still it's not a it's not a thing. <laughs> okay. Instance nil nil nil. Instance nil nil. Instance nil nil nil. So that one actually works. Hang tight for one second, guys. Bye, Dad. Mm. I love you. Love you too. Have fun. Get some good sleep. Yeah, like dream. That's where I come up with most of my ideas at. <laughs> good night. I need to fix my car too. There's like so much stuff that just needs to be fixed. And it always feels like I just don't have enough time. Like, we're at 27 minutes. And I know that if I keep going this direction, I'm just going to like bore you guys to tears. But I hope you got a little bit of scripting like figured out because I know I did. Uh, let's see. Mm, let's do print arg arg arg. Uh, and let's do this as well. So I'm going to print activate comma. And then on this one, I'm going to say, uh, Deactivate, comma. And then on this one, I'm going to say, uh, oh gosh, why is that equip, comma. This one, I'm going to say, unequip. Oh, if I stop and play, is it gonna, is that gonna work? <laughs> How do I detect if it's been dropped versus if it's just been deactivated? Let's see here. All right. Run, 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 run. Thank you. Oh, I got a E to pick it up. So that doesn't have an activate. Or at least it's not, it's not working. Mm, but it does have Unequip, nil, nil, nil. Equip, instance, nil, nil. Now I'm gonna hit backspace. Unequip, nil, nil. Ooh, wait. Can I grab keyboard press? So on this one, uh, on unequip, if this dot parent is not equal uh hold on uh is not wait if this if this dot parent equals workspace then so on unequip if this dot parent equals workspace then um, we are going to do new axe equals 
game dot uh, server storage storage dot axes dot pre alpha ax dot pre alpha ax not the tool pre alpha ax <clears throat> colon clone uh, new colon ax dot parent equals workspace new ax dot c frame equals this dot c frame um, <clears throat> this dot can collide can collide ooh can we do a can collide equals actually this should happen so fast that we don't have to worry about it. This colon destroy. Okay, so when we have the axe tool in hand and we drop it or we deactivate it, if it's deactivated and goes into our backpack, we don't care. If we deactivate and it goes into the workspace, that's when we care. So, delete that, we don't need that. <clears throat> Hopefully this works. So, uh, as of right now, it's an axe. I can pick it up, hit E, there it is. I should be able to deactivate, yeah. Unequip instance, right? But then, ooh. Wait, is that, is that? What is that? Oh, it's not the, it's not the, oh. Did that work? Okay, hold, hold on, we had a... <coughs> Axe is not a valid member of server storage. Axis is not a valid member of server storage. That's because this is a local script. We need a server-side script. <clears throat> so, let's create... Uh, okay. Oh, it's 32 minutes. Oh gosh, we're gonna be late. Um, let's make, uh, okay, is this tool test? Tool test, give me a code tool. Yes, this is the tool test. So we're actually going to cause this to be um, tool, tool server, tool, tool manager, manager, manager. And we are going to say, um, uh, tool manager, R E equals uh, game colon get service replicated storage dot and we need to create a new remote function or no a remote event so we're going to call it remote event and this is going to be called um, get Service, get service, Let's get storage, tool, manager, RE. That's not gonna work, because then from the, the scripting side of things, I could call that remote function and drop a tool right in front of me and it wouldn't matter like what called it. Oof, oofies, oof. Bad, bad programming right there. For now, because I'm simply testing things, and I hope to come back to this, don't exploit my game. Uh, replicated storage .tool manager re. So we want to do uh, local function drop tool what, and then we shall do. No, because then I have to know what tool is being dropped whenever that thing fires. Okay, that's fine. Um, script dot parent. No, not script dot parent. Tool manager dot on dot fire dot on. Or colon. Oh no, it's. What am I doing? 
Um, let's do this because I can't actually see that. Game dot replicated storage dot tool manager dot on server event. Okay. On server event, just like that, we are going to call drop tool. What? Uh, actually, we don't. We don't call that, we do connect. Connect, like that, and like that. So, print what, what two, what three. What do we get? So, print what, what two, what three. So, inside the X script itself, we want to say, um, Tool manager equal uh, re remote event equals um, game dot no colon no dot replicated storage dot um, tool manager re. So this destroy. So we cannot do this because it doesn't know what that is. So the only thing we can do is tool manager dot fire or colon fire server. Can I pass anything in fire server? Roblox uh, remote event fire server. Remote event fire server arguments, parameters that it can take on server event. What arguments do we get? It doesn't say. Down here it does. Replicated storage wait for our child, new vector, replicated storage, remote event, replicated storage. Oh, that actually just creates the event, the, the RE itself. Ooh, we could create REs for every item that gets created. That way it could only be created from itself. Um, player, color, position. Okay, okay. So, fire server, one, two. So the first argument is player. Color and position are passed in. So let's go back over here. Fire server. Um, this, do we have this? Yep, this is, is the, the parent. Dot name, comma. Um, this dot C frame. C frame. There we go. So we should be able to pass in the player that's requesting it, the name of the X that we want, and the C frame of it. So uh, this should work. I probably messed this all up. All right, there we go. Uh, we're just going to pick up the X and then hit backspace rendering pause. C frame is not a valid member of tool. Well, that's fine. I didn't want tool. I want the uh, what the handle? Oh, oh, there we go. So handle. Uh, let's go back over here. This dot. Okay, so this. I guess it's just script. This dot handle. This dot handle dot C frame. There we go. Hopefully that will print it out. There we go, and... Ooh! But that's not... Hmm. Did we get an error somewhere? We did not. Tool manager, axe script, tool manager, fire server, this.name, this.handle.c frame. And the tool manager should be printing out player name, tool name, and tool position, right? 
so close. Print player uh, tool name tool C frame. And we can actually copy those variables up just like this. Drop tool. There we go. Do I need to actually capture that? Hold on. Where was the remote event? It's been a while since I've actually played with the remote events. I've got a couple of them that like save secret stuff in different games. Like hidden eggs that were tweeted out about. Um, hold on. Brick color and a vector. So down here, player color position. Okay, so we do have to do on uh, on the server side, player as the first variable, so we can print that out. So, okay, I'm gonna keep playing with this, but for now, I've got to pause it because you guys have been here for 41 minutes, way longer than I was anticipating. Uh, of course, it always is, and that's what these are. It's just me playing with code. So, thank you for listening to me and for being here. So. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos. But it's really up to you in the end. Uh, I should probably start making more th things. See, this is this is the ADHD part that's hard to deal with sometimes. It's, it's good. I mean, it's a lot of good scripting and coding and stuff like that. But there's no feng shui. There's no cohesion. There's no... We need, we need, I need trees. We need to go chop some trees and axes and stuff like that. But I gotta get the axes fixed so I can create the chop effect on the tree. And I need to get the tree to be able to chop so you can sell it off. But then once you sell it off, you're gonna go buy things which need to be in the store. And since you're gonna be buying things, you're gonna need a place to put them, which is going to require a base. But you're gonna need to get money that you have to chop from a tree. So you're gonna kind of see this this cycle of, uh, yeah, kind of catch-22s that I didn't realize. Defaultio and his other developers had to go and figure all these things out. So, mad respect to you guys. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. I already said that, didn't I? Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon. Outro! Thank you.